skiers, it's Emily from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Here in front of me, I have the Solomon Stance W84. This ski is the second narrowest option in the Stance series with one narrower at 80 underfoot and an 88 and a 94 as well. Um, this ski offers really versatile all mountain performance in a front side package. Um, it's just an incredibly stable and precise ski with powerful carving capabilities, but also just a high level of responsiveness and engagement. Um, the difference between the 2023 model and this model is just a few slight alterations that result in just a, a much more responsive uh, performance. You, when you press into the tip of the ski, you really just get that immediate feedback, which I would say is just slightly different than the previous model. Um, really great ski for someone who spends the majority of their time on groomers, on piece, but also want the option to ski off piece, get into the trees and tight train a little bit. Um, so starting with the construction, we have a poplar Karuba wood core which is just a nice blend of dense and lightweight wood. Um, keeps things really maneuverable, but also very stable underfoot. Um, and then Solomon added a TIC frame to this ski. So we have a single Titanol laminate above the wood core, and that really just enhances the, the overall power of the ski and the smoothness and dampness. Um, and then something interesting that they did was they added two carbon windows, which you can see on camera pretty easily, I would imagine. It's just these cutouts in the forebody and the aft of the, of the ski. And the reason for doing so is to add a little bit more snap when you engage into a turn and out of a turn. Um, so instead of just having full metal throughout the, the length of the ski, they cut out these sections to add carbon instead and just replace that, the, sections on the ski where you really want that immediate feedback um, with just a, a different, more responsive material than metal. Um, so very interesting way to approach the construction and you can really feel it when you're skiing on the ski. Um, as far as shape, we have all-terrain rocker. So more rocker in the tip, I believe it's um, in the 167 we have 122 in the tip and 105 in the tail. So more rocker in the tip, which is nice for just that versatility um, in soft snow conditions. So decent amount in the tips, as you can see. And then in the tail, um, we have a flatter tail with just a little bit of splay. So um, that's the majority of the shape on the ski. We also have po positive camber underfoot, which is just great for uh, performance on hard pack and firmer conditions and just that really nice edge grip. Um, in the 167 length, we have a 14 meter turn radius, which is pretty short. And this goes hand in hand with just the responsiveness and the level of feedback that you receive on the ski. It's just, you're able to make those really nice, snappy, quick turns. Um, so just highly maneuverable, really great in the trees and in the bumps, and then the overall purpose of just this ski in general, I would say it's, it's uh, bread and butter is just on groomers, just really exceptional carving capabilities, but then plenty of versatility as well, which is awesome. Um, so I really love this ski, really powerful and strong, but then also highly maneuverable and responsive, and I would say it's really great for anyone who is on the intermediate to advanced level who want a quick, responsive, maneuverable ski with plentiful stability and power for all mountain performance in, in a front side package. So feel free to head on over to SkiEssentials.com to learn a little bit more and we'll see you on the hill.